Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll talk about YOLO world. YOLO world is a real-time open vocabulary object detection model and it is released by Tencent's AI lab on January 31st, 2024. It is a zero-shot model, which means you can detect object without training your model on it. And when we talk about our traditional object detectors like faster RCNN, single shot detectors, YOLO models like YOLO V7, YOLO V8, YOLO NAS. So they all require training on a specific set of classes before they can accurately detect those objects in new images, right? So for example, if you want to detect table and chair using these traditional detectors, then you will first need to train your model and then you can perform uh, detections. But zero shot detectors can get around this by just using an extra information like written descriptions about what things look like. So let's understand this with an example. So suppose you want to train a zero shot detector model and we provide data to the model whenever we want to train our model on something, right? So for zero shot detector, you will provide two things. One is the image and the other thing is description. So let's say you're providing this image of animal and with this image, you are providing a description, four legs and tail, pointed ears. So these kind of descriptions you are providing with this image. So this pair, image and the description, this will be the input data to train your zero shot detection model. Zero shot detectors learn to understand these descriptions by just looking at pictures of each thing. So even if they come across something new that they haven't been trained on, they can easily figure out what it is based on how it's described. There are some other zero shot detection models available like grounding dyno and dead clay, but they are slow. They use transformers, a powerful but typically slow architecture. And YOLO world on the other hand uses the faster CNN based YOLO architecture and it is designed to solve this limitation of speed. Check this image. Here, YOLO world is 20 times faster than grounding dino T and dead clip T. YOLO world is pre-trained on large scale vision language data sets like Objects 365, GQA, Flickr 30K and vision language data sets means they are collection of data that combine both visual and textual information. So for example, this Flickr 30K. Flickr 30K is a data set for image captioning consisting of 30,000 images collected from Flickr and each image is paired with five descriptive captions. Okay, so this kind of data have been used to train this YOLO world and by leveraging visual language modeling and pre-training on large data sets, YOLO world sets a new standard for zero shot object detection models. So guys, now let's see how we can implement this YOLO world model. So before moving to the implementation part, Let's uh, see the GitHub repo of YOLO world. So this is the GitHub repo of YOLO world and here you can see various things. We, they have deployed the YOLO world demo on hugging face also. So let's open this demo and let's see, let's test this demo first and then we'll, uh, we'll try it with the code. So here, these are the list of classes and here let's pick a picture so suppose i want to work with this picture and here we can see the output so for that you have to click on this submit and on this side we will see the output so guys here you can see person backpack and all these classes are detected so now see shoes are not getting detected let's add shoes in this list and then click on submit and this time you can see shoes are also getting detected this is the demo you can try this demo let's go back to their github repo you can read more about yolo world from here and now let's try to implement it so ultralytics also integrated this yolo world in their package 
so for my today's tutorial we will use the ultralytics package and through that package we will use this yolo world okay and test it so let's start i have prepared a jupyter notebook already so i'm opening that notebook and from that notebook we will learn so here this is the paper of yolo world and this is the official github repo of yolo world and as i've told you that we are going to use ultralytics package because we will pick the yolo world model from ultralytics so for that you need to install this ultralytics package you can install it like pip install ultralytics after that here i'm just showing you the version which i'm using the version is this and in next cell we are importing the yolo world from ultralytics package and here we are using a small model of yolo uh, world okay so this is how you load the model and model dot predict by using this dot predict you can perform the predictions and this is the image on which i want to perform the prediction and save true means it will save the output in runs folder and this show will show you the output on the screen okay so let's execute this cell so here it is detecting all the classes now let's suppose you want to focus only on few classes you want to write some script that you only want to have a person class or a car class or a handbag class then how to do that let's see that now for that we can set the prompts and how we can set the prompts we are importing the yolo here we are loading the yolo world and here we have used set classes and we have written that we only want to detect these two classes person and bus and again provide this model dot predict image name device and the save true now this time you will only see the detections for person and bus class let's see that so here is the image so bus is not in this frame in this picture so all the persons are getting detected and all other classes which were getting detected in a previous cell those classes are not getting detected now now suppose you want to save this model where you have these custom classes sometimes we have some specific application where we don't want to detect all the classes we want to focus on only few classes so let's say you have a requirement where you only want to save the person class where you only want to have the person class then this is how you can do set classes and then using this dot save you can create a custom model from yolo world only we are just creating a custom model from this yolo world model only and this time we want to only have person class after executing this cell you will have a custom underscore yolo v8s.pt model in your current working directory so let's see a current directory so this is my current directory and here you can see that model this is my custom model now now let's load this model and try to perform detections with it here we are loading that custom model so you just need to provide the name of that model inside this okay so this is a custom model we are using the same predict method which we have used earlier and we are providing the image and let's execute it so here this is the image this yolo world is so beneficial you can create your custom model without preparing your data set you just need to set the classes and by setting the classes you can have your custom model and then you can use that model for your custom applications i have given the link of this code in description section you can try this code and i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching